Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 17 of the My Player Career Mode series here on Xbox One. Now in the last episode on Thursday night, we absolutely set the house on fire. We put in some superb performances on a personal level. As a team, we played very, very well indeed and we got the rewards for both of those performances. So if you missed it, I implore you, check back on the channel page and, uh, and watch that video or click on the little annotation in the bottom left hand side of your picture to make sure that you're fully up to speed with where we are as a pro because we're doing particularly well right now but we've got a game against Tranmere today and then uh, we've got another game against Gillingham but we're heading into the January transfer window now I'm still not sure whether we can actually move in January because of course we are on loan at Sheffield United but we're performing superbly definitely outplaying a League 1 level so if we are able to get a move in January maybe it'll come along but again like I said, I'm not too sure considering the uh, the fact that we are on loan may, uh, may change the fact that uh, we're not actually available for a transfer. Because, of course, I know in manager career mode, if a player is on loan, then he, uh, he is unavailable for uh, for permanent transfer. But I'm not sure whether it's the same in in my player. I would presume so. But regardless, we'll, uh, we'll try and do our best. Apparently, I don't have the drilled free kick trait. Uh, we'll try and do our best in uh, in the next couple of games. Maybe we'll get an offer in for us in this window. Maybe we won't. But regardless, we've got the chance to push into the automatic promotion spots in, uh, in this video. You'll be able to see it on your screen in just a second that the table will pop up. And it's very, very tight at the top of the table. Apart from Wolves, that are miles and miles clear. But it's very very tight second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth all split with f between five points it's actually mental but we currently sit third in the table but we can go above Preston if we win this game in hand so fingers crossed we can pick up three points and uh, get ourselves on track again in the league we'll get it we'll try and play it around the outside to uh, the man running down the right hand side of the box is Davies he's whipping it in again Unfortunately, he's not able to uh, to find anyone, but we'll try and maintain possession if we possibly can. There's Billy Painter. Oh, what a turn. Oh, it's unfortunate. Defender putting in a great challenge there. That was a lovely turn from Billy Painter. Defender did really well. Flynn doing really well, playing in Davies on the right-hand side. He's going to find me. I think I'm offside. I am, even though the ball ends up in the back of the net. Decent header. I just, just went too soon. It's a really nice ball. Floated in beautifully. We're able to get on the end of it and put it in the back of the net, but unfortunately it's not going to count. I'll call for it. I've got a bit of space here. I'll give it a crack. <gasps> oh, I thought that was going to fly in the top corner. I got so excited in a brief, in like a split second. I just, ah, oh, the goal flashed be before my eyes. I thought that was going to fly tops. What a save from the goalkeeper. That is superb. Not the most entertaining of, uh, of first halves, but there are glimpses there that we might be just on the verge of taking the lead in this one. We're going to head into the second half on a couple of good chances. We have had the ball in the back of the net, although unfortunately I was just a yard or two offside. But fingers crossed in the second half, we can actually get ourselves a goal. And that was a great strike. I'm so disappointed that that didn't go in. Props to the goalkeeper for that phenomenal save. Up we go. It's done well to win the ball. Billy, I'm right here, mate. I am right here. He's found him. Here's McGinn. Oh, what a fin wish. Oh, my days. How's that stayed out? Was that post and then goalkeeper or post and then post? I, oh, I thought we'd taken the lead there. That was absolutely ridiculous. How has that not ended up in the back of the net? The chance isn't dead yet, though. Flynn trying to play me in. I'll try and play the return ball. We have been able to. Flynn into Billy. It's a strike. It has found its way into the back of the net. In off the post again, ironically. We are able to take a 1-0 lead. Wow. Wowzers. What a, what a period of play that was. What a passage of play. I cannot believe that the first effort didn't go in. But we've done really well to be involved in the move there. Great strike from Billy. Goalkeeper really should have done better there, to be honest. But nonetheless, we'll take the 1-0 lead. Tramir on the attack. Robinson down the right hand side. Oh, he should finish that. He really should put that in the back of the net. That was a phenomenal chance. Just, oh, he got his technique all wrong. You can see there the way he struck the ball just was absolutely horrible. Maybe he's right footed. That might have been the other reasoning behind that. Not, not quite as good on his left, but that was a glorious opportunity for them to get back in the game. Mistake. I just, oh, I almost didn't know what to say there. That was such a horrific mistake that I cannot believe that they're back on level terms. Who's, who does that go down to? Was it over the line before your man dived in? Oh, not quite. He's going to steal the goal off his teammate. That's harsh, but still, perhaps it had to be done because Maguire was getting back there. But unfortunately, we find ourselves pegged back. 
and uh, we're at 1-1 one, one. so let's go again let's get ourselves back in front in these last 13 minutes away we go away we go Maguire Hill please just get rid of it thank you I'm going to win this flick on oh it's a great flick on that header was so much better than I actually expected it to be Davies come on come on I'm right here and we'll go around this way cut inside oh I wanted a step over there we've managed to do well I'm going to finesse it he's going for the bottom corner but the goalkeeper gathers it in Oh, if I'd have got the actual step over in the car inside there, that might have opened the chance up a little bit better, but I was really, really slow on the turn. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get ourselves back in front then. We only take a draw from this one at home against Tranmere. After the form we've been in recently, I was particularly disappointed in myself for not being able to take the couple of chances that we had on a personal level. I'm annoyed that uh, I was offside for that chance that we did end up putting in the back of the net. As you can see, that's our 30th match completed in the top right-hand corner. Our acceleration's gone up one and our ball control's gone up one. But 80% uh, pass completion is decent, but unfortunately no goals from our four shots. Despite the uh, the long shot being a particularly nice one, in fact, we, we still weren't able to get on the score sheet. So... We stay at 1-1, we take a point. I'm not too sure what that does for the league situation. We'll have a quick look at the table before we take on Gillingham. We're still third in the table. Do we have a game in hand still? We do have a game in hand still. So if we can win that game in hand, we'll go above MK Dons and into second. I'm not sure whether this Gillingham game is that game in hand. But uh, let's have a look. Where are Gillingham? 22nd in the table. And they've played 25, so it might be. We'll have to wait and see after we've played it. But let's jump into that game then and uh, see if we can actually come out with a victory this time. Oh, the chance to be played in over the top here. Oh, my God. This could be the... Oh, what have I done? I absolutely panicked and tried to dink it. If I'd have just smashed that, we could have had an early lead. Wow. We are not firing on all cylinders today, are we? We could have had two or three goals in this episode already. That was frustrating. You can tell I'm recording it in a different session, can't you? FIFA form is real. I was unstoppable in the last episode when I recorded that session. So far this time around, really not the same. I didn't realise we've been that good. Can we play me? Oh, God, I've run so far offside. Just give it a whack, mate. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, my days. Come so close. Can we out-muscle Welp down? No, we can't. They're going to clear it. Oh, chance to take the lead twice now in these opening 15 minutes. One for me, one for someone else. We just haven't been able to take it. That's a nice run. I'm going to play you over the top. He's on the end of it. McGinn! Ref! It's dropped to me! Strike! Straight at the goalkeeper. McGinn again! Off the post! And we finished it! It's into the back of the net. Oh my days, what a passage of play again. It's ended in a goal for us. Not the celebration of what it to do, but we'll have a cheeky punch. I don't know what has gone on there. I thought McGinn was offside for the second effort. The first one was a great strike from him off the post. This one, not that one. That was my effort. That one. Oh, like four shots there. He's done really, really well to get that. Oh, I just, I don't know. I'm all a mess. That that complete chance was a mess. But we'll take a goal from two yards. It's Sheffield United one, Gillingham nil. Gillingham have a corner here. Not really too sure what's going to come of it. I don't know whether they're any good in the air. I've run off. That was my man on the edge of the box. Oh my days! That nearly ended up spectacularly into the back of the net. That chance only came about because I was lax defensively and left my man on the edge. Maybe I should be a little bit more. Uh, Disciplined when it comes to my defensive duties. Harris into Scalgal. I'm going to call for it here. McGinn. Oh, he's gone for a cheeky back heel. There's Murphy. There's Porter. He's taken around the defender well. Give it a whack. It's 2 0. That was a simple finish for Chris Porter there. I think it's Chris Porter. Might not be. C Porter. But uh, regardless, we, we're, uh, we're 2 0 in front. And uh, I'm pleased with that, actually. That was a really nice move. Cheeky little back heel from McGinn. Really nice uh, feet there to take it around the defender and and an in emphatic finish. And uh, we turn in front. Let's push on and maybe pick ourselves up a second goal uh, personally if we can. So it's 2 0 at half time. We've had an okay first half. Peter goal up ourselves, as has uh, Porter alongside us. Our goal was a little bit scrappy, to be completely honest, but uh, that was made up for by Porter's particularly good uh, dribble and finish. But hopefully, we can extend the lead in the second half. Gillingham have been okay attacking wise. They've had a couple of opportunities that they perhaps should have finished. So uh, there's definitely a threat there. We have to maintain our discipline defensively, something that I didn't do for the uh, the main chance that I showed you, that overhead kick that went wide. So uh, hopefully we can uh, remain strong in the second half and come out with three points. Weston down the left-hand side. He's got a lot of pace in the locker as Weston. Unfortunately, a good cross isn't in the locker as well. We've got a chance to break away. 
Oh, a real chance to break away. What a ball that is. All the way down the left hand, the right hand side, rather. I'm going to try and drill this across to Porter. There's the ball across, and the defender just gets their first, hooks it away. We'll take a corner. Maybe we could get ourselves a second goal slash third goal for the team from here. It's headed Porter's way. He's gone up. He's had another header. Wow, Chris Porter is on fire right now. What a strike. Two bites of the cherry there with the header. I think it's Chris Porter. I might be wrong. I may even... In fact, I'm going to Google it now. So uh, we'll see what his name is. But he did very, very well there with that first header. Unfortunately, was blocked. But to have the determination to get to the second ball as well, it is Chris Porter at Sheffield United. I am correct. I thought I was, but I wanted to just check. Thank the Lord for Google, eh? But anyway, two goals for Chris Porter, three goals for Sheffield United. And it's looking like a comfortable victory. And there we go, there is the final whistle. So we do take a 3-0 victory. Fortunately for us, we weren't giving uh, cheap goals away. Despite Gillingham's threats in the second half again, we were actually able to extend our lead thanks to Chris Porter. A brace for him and uh, one for us as well. So uh, pleased to get a win under our belts after that disappointing draw against Tramby. And pleased to get a goal under our belts as well, considering uh, we weren't necessarily on uh, firing on all cylinders in this one but still to be able to come away with four points is uh, is pleasing we'll have to wait and see tomorrow what happens in the next episode to see if we can maintain our promotion push but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if it could be so kind that would be absolutely superb like i say if you missed the previous episode definitely head over and check that out because it really was a cracker there'll be a link in the bottom left hand side of your picture of course feel free to check the channel page and or the playlist as well and subscribe if you haven't already for more of this this series there is of course the AC Milan career mode series going on this channel as well every single weekday at 1pm so feel free to check your sub boxes for that there was an episode yesterday went up with a phenomenal absolutely mental uh, transfer offer in it as well so if you missed that definitely check that out as well so many uh, so many videos to watch for you guys but anyway that's gonna bring this one to a close so thank you very much for watching guys enjoy your Saturday I will see you tomorrow lunchtime and uh, I'll see you next time